First thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and scroll down into the description down below and get yourself to the Sabre download page. Now this is a free plugin, so you don't have to worry about paying for anything. You can just easily go to the link, get yourself the download, and this will give you this zip file right here. So with the zip file, you want to go ahead and take out the setup installation. And once you've got it out, you want to double left click on here, press yes. And from here, you just want to follow the steps, click on next, click on the 22.0, click next, go ahead and click on next again. Saber has now successfully been installed onto your system. After the installation, and once you've got yourself the plugin installed, you want to go ahead and reopen After Effects and get yourself a fresh new project. We're going to set it to 3840 times 2160. Keep it on 60 FPS, and we're going to set it to about 10 seconds for the duration. For the background color, you want to leave this on its default black color, and go ahead and press OK. So the first thing is, of course, to go to the text tool, left click on the screen, drag this out, and then type in your text. So the font that I'm using is called Adobe Clean. There'll be a link down below if you'd like to use the same font. And I've set it to 900 pixels for the text size. The next thing to do is you want to grab the corners and just lock this on so it fits onto the text. The reason for this is because we can now go to the first tool. We can go ahead and press Control, Alt, and Home. So from here, all we have to do is simply go to the alignment and then center align the text in the middle. Okay, so now that we've got ourselves the text, we can go ahead and left click here, right click on the empty area, and get yourself a solid color. You want to give this any name that you want. This is going to be the effect. You want to set it to the same size. You then want to go ahead and press OK. And with this new layer, we're going to go into the effects. Now you want to make sure you are still selecting this one and we can now hide the one underneath it. You want to go up to the effects, go down to video copilot. And this is the Sabre effect right here. So if you left click on here, this will give you the Sabre effect. And from here, all we have to do is go to the effect controls. So the first thing that we want to do is, of course, we want to add this onto our text layer. And to do this, you want to go down to the customize core. In the core type, you want to set this one to text. And of course, in the text layer, you want to set this one to energy. So from here, of course, we can go ahead and start to customize our Sabre effect. And the first thing is to go into the preset and we can set it to the one that will say energy. We can also customize the color and we can set it to a nice red color, which is of course going to be FF0000. And then go ahead and press OK. The next thing to do is we're going to set the glow intensity to 64. We can then scroll down and go to the core customization or the customize core. This one will once again allow you to customize the energy. And from here, we have two important settings that you need to focus on. The first one is the start size, which is right here, and then the start offset. What these do is these are responsible for the animation of this effect. So if you go ahead and go into the start size and turn this down to zero, you can see that the glow is starting to disappear. And if you do the opposite for the start offset and set this one to 100, you will notice the text will animate itself and completely disappear. So if you was to animate this, what you would do is you would start at 100% for the offset you would then click on the stopwatch. You would open this up, go into the effects, go into Saber, and then open Customize Core. So from here, you would go further out and then set this one to zero. And as you can see, this will then create you this animation right here. But you also want to make sure you give yourself plenty of time. So if you drag this out, it'll make it look a lot more smoother. 
And speaking of smooth, we want to also left click, drag this out, highlight both of your keyframes, right click on here, and then set the keyframe assistant to easy ease. And this will make it so that the animation is really smooth going from zero to 100. But you also want to make sure that you do the same steps for the start size, because as you can see, once it reaches 100, it is not fully complete. So we need to make sure that we do it for the start size as well. From zero, go further out and set this one to 100. We also want to do the same for the keyframes. If you highlight them both, right click on here and set the keyframe assistant to easy ease. And there we go. We've now got ourselves the simple animation which will make it look like this. Now that you've done that, we can scroll to the top, we can minimize this, and then we're going to go back into the core customization and set the end size to 31%. Next up, we also want to scroll down to the bottom and open up the glow settings. So the first thing is you want to change the glow multiplier to 100, set the glow size to four, Keep the glow pre gamma on one. Have the glow one intensity to 2.40. Put the glow size to 400. The glow two intensity, you want to set this one to 0 0.86. Set the glow two size to 26. Glow three to 0 0.40. You want to leave the glow three size on eight. Change the glow 4 intensity to 0 0.20. And then, of course, leave the glow 4 size on 3. And there we go. So we have now done with the glow settings. What we want to do now is want to minimize this. And we're going to go ahead and you want to hold shift. Click on the bottom one. Right click on here and go to pre comp. In here, we're going to change this to energy. And of course, we're going to make sure that all of the attributes will move into this new composition and go ahead and press OK. Now, the reason why we've done this is because we can now start to add in the background. And once you've actually started to add in the background, you will need to set the mode of the pre comp to the one that will say add. And this will make it so that you can actually see the background. And speaking of background, we're going to go ahead and get yourself the black bricks for the background. You want to left click, drag this into After Effects, and we're going to move this underneath our text. For the bricks, you want to press S for scale and set this to 300% for the size. You then want to minimize this and you want to right click in the empty area, get yourself another solid color, and this one is going to be a plain black. Press OK. Move this one underneath your energy. We're going to press T for the opacity and set this to 80%. You also want to make sure that you switch to the modes, which is this one right here, and set the mode to overlay. While we are in the background, you also want to get yourself a sharpen effect and apply this one onto your bricks and set this to four for the amount just to sharpen it up a little bit more. And then for the background, you also want to open up the project file and get yourself the TV glitch and move this one underneath your text layer. You want to go ahead and left click, scale this up and make sure it fits the screen right up to here. And of course, we're going to go ahead and go back into the effects and search for a Gaussian blur. So you'll see the Gaussian blur right here. Left click, drag this onto your TV effect and set this blur to 50. You then want to go ahead and set the effect to vivid light right down here. And then finally, the very last thing that we want to do is we want to search in for a four and then you'll see a full color gradient. You want to left click, drag this in and apply this onto your 
TV glitch. The first one is going to be 128, 72 for the location. You want to then left click on the color and set the color to 9400FF. Go ahead and press OK. The next color, you want to make sure that the location is 1152 and then 72. We're going to left click on the color, set the color to 5AA61B. Press OK. Next up, we're going to change the point three color to have a location of 27.7 and the second one to 700 and 14.8. You want to click on the color and set the color to 632C9F. Press OK. And then finally, for the point 4, we'll want to set the location to 952.2 and then 701.3 for the second location. You want to click on the color and set this one to 0000 FF and then go ahead and press OK. And then finally, the very last thing that you want to do is, of course, go down to the blending mode and set this one to overlay. And that's pretty much it. That is your energy glow text effect using the plugin Saber. <laughs>